Hello friends and welcome to this video. Friends, in this video, we'll talk about how we can create a financial model for a business from scratch. So many times if I ask my student to create a model from the scratch, they feel underconfident. They, they are confused about okay, how to start with. So friends, for any business model or any, uh, you know, financial model to start with, if the company is into existence, if the company is doing the business, then the first step in creating any model is projection of revenues. But if there is no business in, in, in existence because the company is just starting the business or project and they have to first decide the capital expenditures, you know, setting up plants and machineries, etc. So you have to start your model with creating a CAPEX schedule because first you have to establish that project and then the revenue will start coming in. So first step depends upon whether the company is into an ongoing business or it's a new project. Then the next step is once you have projected the revenue uh, or you have decided your schedule, capex schedule and then revenue. The next step is calculation of operating expenses because that these operating expenses are basically directly related to your sales. But in these operating expenses, we can divide expenses into two parts, variable expenses and uh, fixed expenses. Variable expenses are directly linked to the revenue. So this we can say, okay, with the growth of the sales, how much revenue expenses will grow. So we can link it as a percentage of sales. But in the fixed expenses, we can create a schedule like depreciation modernization schedule, which can be linked directly from the fixed asset schedule. Then once we have calculated operating expenses, we can calculate our operating profit, which is revenue minus operating expenses. Then the third step is after EBIT, we have to subtract interest expenses, which is directly linked to your debt balances. And now the debt balances depends upon, you know, in, uh, you know, how much debt you will raise or repay in the future. So because we are talking about future, you know, uh, interest expenses, not the past one. And future debt raised or repayment uh, would depend upon, you know, how much cash balance or uh, surplus cash or shortage of the funds you would have in the future. So you have to first project your cash flow statement. So what you can do, you can leave this line item blank, uh, just complete your income statement without interest expenses and start with the cash flow statement where the net income is your first line item in the cash flow statement. Complete your cash flow statement and just see what the cash balance left with the company. Uh, after making all the payments of expenses, capital expenditures, etc. And if this balance is negative, then obviously it will require you to raise uh, more debt in the future. But if this cash is positive, then you can use this cash first to repay debt and the balance amount you can use to pay dividend to the equity. So this way you will be able to decide, okay, how much cash you would be left with uh, or shortage of the funds you would have, what you are supposed to make up with the debt. Once you have created your debt schedule, then on this basis, you can calculate your interest expenses. And now you can link this interest expenses to your income statement. Guys, once you have completed your income statement and cash flow statement, the last step is, you know, balancing your all the assets and liabilities. So creating a balance sheet. So you have to link all the balances of your assets and liability in this statement and make sure your balance sheet is balanced. So once you have created these three statements, this is called a financial model, which is nothing but the projection of three key statements of the company or business. Now, post that, you can run different valuations on these projected numbers. For example, I can do DCF valuation on this, which is based on the projected cash flows. So I can link cash flows to my output sheet and I can calculate discount rate for the company to see, okay, what's the present value of surplus cash or free cash flows, what business will earn in the future based on your financial models. So creating financial model is not difficult. The only thing is you have to structure your thoughts and you have to, uh, you know, uh, follow this process step by step. If you, you know, uh, nestle with this process, you know, you start with the deck schedule first, which obviously depends upon, you know, cash flow statement of the business. So without the cash balances, you cannot create a deck schedule. So obviously then you will stuck in the modeling, right? So follow the right process, follow the right path, and you will be able to create models for any business, any company, guys. Good luck.